Okay, uh, hello once again. Uh, sorry for the uh, hiccup. Uh, this is our periodic uh, press conference, uh, uh, particularly for the international uh, press, uh, but Japanese media, uh, they are also invited. Uh, this is to brief you on uh, the, uh, uh, the series of announcements uh, that were made yesterday related to the uh, uh, novel coronavirus. And uh, of course, uh, that would include the, uh, the declaration of a state of emergency as well as the new economic package uh, to deal, to uh, tackle this uh, 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 current challenge as well. So these two uh, matters will be included, but how we are, are dealing with the virus itself uh, will be uh, updated to you uh, through our briefing as well. Anyway, uh, my name is uh, Masato Otaka. I am the uh, press secretary of the Foreign Affairs. I am basically the spokesperson of the uh, Japanese Foreign Ministry, and at times uh, uh, when our Prime Minister uh, is traveling abroad, I speak on behalf of the whole government as well. Uh, uh, in this capacity, uh, I have invited uh, uh, many of my colleagues who are directly in charge of the matters that I mentioned uh, uh, earlier. Uh, today, uh, this is being uh, live streamed uh, online, and it will be available on YouTube later on as well. Uh, and uh, we're doing something new uh, because it will be televised in English uh, through our uh, simultaneous interpreters uh, in the other room, in the, uh, the boots. Uh, but we will also be accepting uh, questions from the viewers uh, of the uh, registered international media. Uh, but they will be able to submit their questions uh, through email as well. Uh, it can be submitted to the address that you know that, that we normally use uh, uh, for, our, for the International Press Division. In case you don't know what that is, uh, do uh, let us know and we will tell you immediately. In any case, uh, uh, I hope this uh, briefing will be useful to you in giving you as much information as possible uh, to understand what is happening in Japan. So without further ado, I would like to invite uh, my colleagues uh, who will uh, give you some opening statements on the uh, uh, new developments uh, that have been uh, taking place uh, since yesterday. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, invite uh, a colleague from the uh, Cabinet Secretariat, and uh, it would be Mr. Uh, Kojima, and uh, uh, you have the floor. Hi. Hello. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Koshima uh, of the Cabinet uh, uh, Secretariat. I am um, belonging to the Secretariat uh, of the Government uh, Headquarters for uh, COVID-19. Uh, yesterday, uh, the uh, declaration of the state of emergency was made, and uh, the uh, basic policy uh, was also uh, introduced. So I would like to uh, cover the basic policies for the novel uh, coronavirus uh, disease control. Uh, I have I understand that uh, materials have been distributed to you uh, regarding uh, the declaration of the state of emergency. Uh, on the 7th of uh, April, uh, the, uh, the head of the uh, headquarters uh, has uh, made this declaration uh, yesterday for uh, the state of emergency. It was be from the uh, 7th of uh, April to the 6th of uh, May for a uh, approximately one month. Uh, the areas uh, that will be covered, uh, the scope will be Saitama, Chiba, Tokyo, Kanagawa, uh, Osaka, Hyogo, and uh, Fukuoka. The seven prefectures will be in scope. On the part of the government, uh, the declaration was made for the state of emergency, uh, but uh, uh, it is intention uh, to minimize the impact on the social economic functions. Uh, therefore, measures such as lockdown or city blockade will not be taken in Japan. And furthermore, uh, regarding the basic policies, uh, the uh, concept uh, is uh, to uh, reduce uh, disease and uh, inclusive of uh, the government as well as uh, uh, the private sector and uh, community will be working together uh, to uh, deal uh, with this uh, uh, novel coronavirus. Uh, now, let me give you some facts. Uh, 
uh, as of uh, uh, yesterday, Uh, 3,817 infected cases have been identified. Uh, there have been 80 deaths. And uh, uh, with unknown routes of transmission, approximately 40.6% of the 3,817 uh, will fall into this category. Uh, in the urban areas, uh, we are seeing uh, uh, the infection expanding. Uh, medical provision system uh, is restrained uh, in some areas. Uh, therefore, uh, against this backdrop, uh, uh, the, uh, the declaration of state of emergency was made yesterday. Uh, in particular, the close uh, areas, uh, as uh, well as uh, uh, crowded conditions, as well as conversations in short distance, the three Cs uh, have been identified to uh, increase the spread of the virus. Uh, even in other areas, uh, it is uh, uh, very important uh, to uh, refrain uh, from uh, conversing uh, in loud voices. Now, uh, regarding the basic policy of uh, uh, this area, uh, there are three areas to uh, cover. Uh, first of all, uh, is uh, to reduce the uh, speed of uh, infection. Uh, secondly, um, minimize uh, as severe uh, cases and deaths and uh, appropriate measures will be taken accordingly uh, to achieve this objective. Uh, and uh, because uh, with the uh, minimizing the impact of social and economic functions uh, with the uh, various measures uh, implemented uh, will also be an important policy for uh, control. Now let me talk about the key points uh, in implementing measures uh, in terms of uh, sharing information. Uh, it is important to uh, promote uh, the change in behavior on the part of uh, citizens. Uh, that will be the important focus uh, in the provision of uh, sharing of information. Uh, we want uh, uh, people to be cool-headed uh, in uh, their uh, behavior. And uh, also the three Cs uh, should be avoided uh, in uh, daily life. Uh, so uh, behavior should change. Uh, and there will not be uh, lockdown measures, uh, which will uh, cause uh, confusion in the uh, community. Uh, that will be the purpose of uh, communication. Uh, the second area is uh, surveillance. Uh, based on various data, uh, we will uh, provide uh, appropriate uh, information, uh, PCR uh, cases, as well as uh, uh, the uh, tested positive cases uh, will be uh, communicated uh, on a regular basis. A third uh, is pandemic uh, prevention. Uh, it is very important to reduce uh, contact uh, amongst uh, people. By so doing, we believe uh, that uh, uh, the problem can be contained 70% uh, or uh, at least or 80% uh, uh, contact uh, should be reduced uh, amongst people. Uh, this uh, is the type of behavior that will be promoted uh, amongst our people. Overall, uh, in implementing measures going forward, uh, we will request uh, cooperation and ultimately uh, instructions uh, will be uh, given. Uh, so it will not be instructions at the outset, uh, it will be a phased approach. And uh, a stronger request uh, will be uh, made uh, in this area. The next item uh, is number four, uh, medical care. Uh, I understand that uh, MHLW will provide uh, more detailed information later. Uh, what is important here uh, is uh, to reduce uh, severe uh, patients as well as deaths uh, caused by this uh, disease. And from this uh, standpoint, uh, for uh, people with light symptoms, uh, we will request uh, them to recuperate uh, in their homes. Uh, fifth is economy and uh, employment. Uh, this uh, will be further explained by the Cabinet Office uh, uh, afterward. Others uh, will now be explained. Uh, currently, uh, in the front line, uh, the, uh, the medical uh, professionals they are uh, doing their utmost for the patients as well as their families. Uh, uh, there are uh, uh, discrimination uh, that is taking place that uh, we want to uh, promote the message that uh, it uh, should uh, uh, not uh, be the case and also 
the uh, provision of goods and materials uh, are provided, and uh, we have to make sure there is no hoarding uh, and panic buying of uh, these materials. We have to make sure that uh, appropriate goods and materials will be provided to where uh, it is needed. Uh, going forward, uh, after the declaration has been made, the infection spread uh, will be monitored and uh, which will be subject to analysis and uh, the policies uh, will also be subject to uh, uh, amendment uh, uh, going forward. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. I'd like to uh, remind the viewers that uh, the handouts uh, uh, have been emailed to all of you who have registered themselves uh, for this online conference. Uh, in case you have not received them or in case you wish to uh, uh, have a look at them, do let us know and we will send them to you uh, right away. Okay, th uh, that was Mr. Kojima, who is the counselor uh, at the uh, Cabinet Sec uh, Secretariat in charge of Coronavirus Disease 2019 Preparedness and Response. Now uh, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Kuroda, who is the Deputy Director General for Economic and Fiscal Management at the Cabinet Office, and he will be covering the new economic package. Uh, Mr. Kuroda, please. Thank you, Mr. Kuroda from the Cabinet Office. Well, yesterday there was a Cabinet decision made about the novel coronavirus emergency economic measures. So I'd like to introduce a background. In terms of flexible and uh, speedy economic measures, since autumn last year, we have been taking such measures as a response to typhoon and accelerate development of infrastructure, and including trade frictions. There are other risks borne overseas as avoid such risks from happening in Japan. There are measures taken to the SMEs and the agriculture and forestry and fisheries businesses. And also in the future, towards society using big data and AI, R&D is being made. And to implement such results, environment should be developed. So a comprehensive economic measure was already being decided in October last year. So we are already prepared in advance. And risk of Japanese economy starting overseas developed in a method that we have not imagined with COVID-19. First, uh, spread of infection must be uh, prevented. Uh, border measures necessary. We must develop a medical care system and also employment measures because of the interruption of business and also measures against the interruption of school is necessary. The infection is giving a serious economic impact on Japanese and foreign economy, and we are facing a great uh, crisis. It is possible that we could have a negative growth rate ever since the Lehman uh, shock, and many economic measures are being implemented in many countries in the world. In Japan as well, the GDP gap in January to March of this year is said to be minus 8 trillion yen, and this may further expand in the future. So we must uh, have a joint strategy with foreign countries, and we must protect the livelihood and employment in Japan. So fiscal finance and tax measures of a scale of 108 trillion yen was announced yesterday. This is about 20% of Japan's GDP. And this is uh, uh, corresponds to one year GDP of Tokyo. There are two phases in these measures. The first phase is called, is called emergency support phase. First, we must prevent the spread of infection that is of utmost importance in terms of economic activities. So economic measures, the first pillar of economic measures is measures to prevent spread of infection and build medical treatment structures and develop uh, medical care. 
to be more specific, to double the PCR test capacity and increase beds to the severe uh, symptoms patients from 28,000 to 50,000 and masks to secure 700 million uh, production per month. And for those who are uh, healthy, uh, we, other facilities and must be secured, not limiting to uh, hospitals and also have uh, international cooperation to develop uh, therapeutic medication, in particular for Avigan, in cooperation with foreign countries. We are expanding clinical studies, and we started increasing the production. We are preparing to stockpile up to 2 million doses in Japan. This emergency support phase aims at maintaining employment and to continue with the business. In terms of scale, 80 trillion yen will be allocated to this phase. For example, even if business activities shrink, uh, instead of uh, firing people, uh, the government will support by providing a, a guarantee, a, a support uh, for uh, halting the business or stopping the business and to support the f financing of the company in substance, interest-free, unsecured loans, and a loan uh, that for a period of five years will be given, and we will request the private sector financial institutions to be able to provide such support. And national tax and social security premiums, will payments will be deferred for one year, uh, so which means that this will be a 26 trillion yen of a fund remaining at the corporate level. And with the reduction of the economic activities, there will be direct impact. Let us say, compared to the previous month, if there is more than 50% decline of income in one month to such SMEs and individual business owners, Cash payments will be provided. Uh, such a new scheme has been developed. Uh, 2 million yen for SMEs and 1 million yen to each individual business owners. The, uh, that is the limit amount that we provided to supplement for the reduction of income. And for the households with difficulties, uh, how, for households in need, 300,000 yen per household will be provided. And we have a budget that can accommodate 1,300 households. With these measures, employment, business, and livelihood will be protected so that we can move on to the next phase, which we call a V-letter-shaped recovery phase. You want to be able to reach a recovery phase in transport, tourism, and the restaurants, event, entertainment business. For such a period after uh, we overcome the current situation, we would like to have a support for a certain period of time. And also, we also have a budget to sell Japan to foreign countries. It is important to promote free trade. And uh, Japan's economy that will not be directly affected by foreign uh, economic trend is important. So we want to make investments so that we can achieve such a structure, review the supply chain, so that we will not depend uh, on a certain country for certain products or materials. We will review such a situation. And also, we will be supporting business activities overseas by the Japanese companies. And today, uh, we are having a remote uh, work, and such needs uh, is expanding in Japan as well. So such movement might accelerate. So despite the difficulties, we must be prepared to the next phase. And so we will be implementing such measures. So these were the emergency economic measures of a total amount of 108 trillion yen, which was decided yesterday. And now we are now uh, making coordination so that we can propose a supplementary budget.
Thank you, Mr. Kuruda. Now I would like to invite uh, Mr. Uh, Sahara, who is the uh, Senior Assistant Minister for Global Health at the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare. As you may remember, he has been the uh, main briefer in the past uh, uh, press conferences, but once again, uh, he's here to uh, update you on our fight against uh, the uh, uh, novel coronavirus as well. So, Mr. Uh, Sahara, you have the floor. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Sahara of uh, the MHLW. Uh, please refer to the material uh, of uh, the MHLW. Uh, it is entitled uh, Updates uh, on COVID-19 uh, in Japan. Uh, please uh, move to the first page. Uh, this is the weekly information that uh, we are providing. Uh, it is the updated version. Uh, the upper side is the domestic cases. Uh, the second is the cases at the cruise ship. Uh, and uh, the total is provided uh, below. If you look at uh, the upper part, uh, this is uh, dated uh, April 6. The uh, PCR tested positive was 3,906 cases. Uh, deaths were 80. Uh, please refer to the next page. Uh, this is also an update, uh, which is the daily uh, confirmed cases. Uh, the trend uh, can be seen uh, in this graph. Uh, from the, um, you can see that from the end of uh, March, uh, there has been a significant increase. Uh, this is a situation that we, we are very concerned about. Uh, please refer to the next page. Uh, this is uh, the graph showing uh, confirmed cases in each week. Uh, from the end of March, uh, you can see a significant increase. And uh, to the left, you can see 703. Uh, these are the cases under investigation. Uh, please refer to the next page. Uh, these are cases by age. Compared to the past, you can see uh, that uh, the number of uh, young people uh, infected uh, have uh, increased. Um, this is because the uh, clusters have occurred in university environments. Uh, there were also clusters identified uh, uh, in uh, the hospitals and uh, uh, amongst young uh, nurses, for example, and uh, also young people in regional areas are also uh, causing uh, this uh, increase amongst the young demographic. Please refer to the next page. Uh, these are the number of cases in each prefecture. Uh, it is most prevalent in Tokyo. And the uh, seven uh, prefectures that have been covered uh, by the uh, declaration of state of emergency uh, uh, are also shown here. Uh, Saitama, Chiba, Tokyo, Kanagawa, as well as uh, Osaka and Hyogo and Fukuoka. You can see uh, the uh, cases uh, are prevalent uh, in these prefectures. Please refer to page 7. The trend of uh, death cases in several countries are uh, compared. Day one uh, is the first death date. That is uh, how uh, you should interpret this. In the case of Japan, uh, we have uh, not seen uh, explosive growth. But uh, unfortunately, the numbers of uh, death cases uh, are increasing gradually. In the, the amongst uh, the uh, medical care environment, uh, it is becoming a significant uh, issue. You can see that uh, under the title, it is mentioned that slow increase of death cases can be seen on a nationwide basis. Uh, we have not seen um, uh, uh, the deterioration of uh, health care, uh, but uh, uh, there is uh, increasing pressure in some areas. Please refer to the next page, uh, page 8. 
Uh, this has already been covered uh, by the Cabinet Secretariat, uh, the uh, basic strategy to combat uh, COVID-19. Uh, we have to identify clusters as quickly as possible and uh, deal with the clusters and uh, also uh, enhance uh, the uh, medical uh, care environment and uh, to promote uh, behavior modification of citizens are uh, uh, the basic uh, strategies. Uh, the 3C high-risk environments uh, uh, is outlined on page 9. Uh, I will not uh, go into detailed explanation here. Uh, page 10. Here uh, we have shown uh, the uh, most up-to-date uh, uh, cluster maps uh, map in Japan. On a nationwide basis, you can see uh, clusters are occurring Going forward, uh, in Japan, uh, we will continue our focus uh, to uh, deal with these uh, clusters. Uh, in terms of recent clusters, I would like to uh, mention uh, that it is increasing in uh, hospitals as well as welfare facilities. Uh, therefore, we have to step up uh, efforts to deal with these clusters going forward. Page 11 uh, is something that uh, I am showing uh, on a weekly basis. Uh, it is showing uh, the the uh, call center for Japanese returnees and uh, potential uh, uh, contacts, as well as uh, outpatient uh, facilities for Japanese returnees and uh, uh, potential contacts uh, leading to PCR tests. Uh, the flow uh, is shown on page 11. Uh, please refer to the next page. Regarding the PCR tests, uh, the uh, pink area uh, is showing uh, the test uh, capacity on a daily basis in Japan, uh, most recently. Um, 12,000 uh, uh, test capacity uh, is available. Uh, as for the curve, the blue curve is the actual tested cases. In March, uh, from the end of March, you can see uh, that uh, there have been a significant uh, increase in the number of cases. And uh, with the number of uh, cases increasing, uh, uh, tested cases uh, have also increased. Uh, please refer to the last uh, page, uh, which is the way forward. Uh, this has already been covered by the Cabinet Secretary and the uh, colleague. Uh, these are the measures that have been implemented. Uh, by implementing these measures, uh, what we are focused on achieving is to delay and lower the peak of uh, infection. The last slide uh, is also uh, something that I'm showing uh, on a regular basis. Uh, the, uh, the basic thinking uh, is reflected on this page. That is all. Thank you, Mr. Sahara. So uh, um, we now have all the uh, uh, opening remarks by, uh, by the briefers. Uh, I will open the floor uh, for questions as well. Uh, before I do that, I would just like to remind you that uh, the viewers who are uh, registered members of the international media uh, will also be able to submit their questions through email, uh, at least for the next uh, 15 minutes or so, and I'm already starting to receive some. Uh, and uh, I would just like to let you know that uh, uh, 12 members have uh, registered. Uh, uh, to be online as well, so uh, out there, there are at least 12 members of the international uh, media uh, following and watching uh, this press conference as well. So I would like to uh, open the f uh, floor for questions, and uh, when you ask questions, uh, do state uh, where your name as well as uh, where you're from as well. Uh, gentleman there, please. Uh, uh, through the microphone as well. Thank you. Rocky Swift with Reuters. Um, kind of a two-part question. Chief Cabinet Secretary Suga uh, said a few days ago regarding the uh, low number, relatively low number of tests in Japan that it had to do with that there was not that many deaths. And uh, he said that, that all suspected pneumonia cases within Japan, pneumonia deaths or cases, were also tested for SARS COVID number two. So um, if the official cause of death is something other than pneumonia, 
another cause of death. Are they also tested for this virus? Um, and also, just as a second part of the question, we see that the capacity for testing has gone up quite a lot, and it's something that our Chief Cabinet Secretary noted is a aim to increase. But what's the point of increasing the capacity if the actual testing is not anywhere near the present capacity? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, perhaps uh, I should ask uh, Mr. Sahara to give some uh, answers uh, to, this, uh, to these uh, questions, please. Hi, I know. Um. Yes, thank you for your question. And basically, the coronavirus or uh, COVID pneumonia, what is important is to test for COVID pneumonia. And in doing so, those who die with pneumonia, though we say pneumonia, there are different types of pneumonia. So there could be other diagnosis. And in such a case, it, there's no need of conducting a PCR test. But if there's a known cause for a pneumonia, I believe that a PCR test uh, must be conducted. And in the current situation in Japan, uh, clinical symptoms or the X-ray, uh, CT tests, if they show that there's a clear pneumonia, uh, in the current situation, I think that the doctors will conduct the PCR test. As for a PCR capacity, we, we believe it's necessary to increase the capacity because going forward, of course, it is important to pick out an infection and reduce infection as soon as possible. But we must always be prepared for the worst situation. So no matter what is the situation, we must be prepared so that we can take quick responses. The point is that uh, 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 the government, uh, as well as the Ministry of, of Health, uh, uh, Welfare, and Labor, has made it uh, time and time again, time and time and time and again, uh, clear uh, to the people and the medical staff that any person uh, needing uh, the testing should be tested. And I think uh, this message has been transmitted to all parts of the uh, uh, medical service sector as well. Okay. Uh, other questions. Lady in the back. Uh, my question is, um, uh, we have seen a very steep increase in the number of cases and deaths in the European countries. And in Japan, it's not happened yet. Uh, uh, do you think it will happen in the future? And if, uh, what do you think is the reason behind this? Uh, uh, how can you explain the fact that, okay, we can explain the fact that there are less number of uh, cases because the number of tests are very few, but uh, the number of deaths is very low as compared to the other countries. Uh, how would you explain that? Thank you very much. My name is Aruna Pupuri, and I'm from France 24. It's a channel. So, uh, Mr. Sahara, uh, would you be would you be able to answer this question? Uh, it's about the speed, uh, steep increase, possibility of that, uh, as well as uh, uh, the the outlook. Thank you very much for the question. 
No, regarding the possibility going forward, it will be uh, answered. It is of utmost importance uh, that uh, we uh, ex uh, avoid uh, explosive growth, uh, but uh, no one can uh, accurately uh, predict the situation in the future. And therefore, for the, uh, against this backdrop, uh, we are implementing uh, all available measures uh, to make sure uh, that the infection spread uh, can be contained. Now, your second question is uh, uh, regarding the low deaths uh, in Japan or uh, the number of patients uh, not increasing uh, in Japan. And deaths are very limited uh, in Japan today. There are uh, different analyses uh, in this area. For example, from the end of February, we have uh, uh, stopped the operation of schools. The effectiveness of this measure uh, cannot be accurately analyzed on a pinpoint basis. According to experts in the expert committee, it is difficult to identify uh, the specific impact uh, of this. Uh, but uh, we are implementing uh, uh, various measures uh, uh, on an ongoing basis. And the most effective measure uh, is difficult to identify because uh, measures uh, are uh, multiple. However, I believe there are major, many reasons why uh, the uh, prevalence is low in Japan. Uh, in Japan, uh, we are very uh, wash our hands uh, uh, a lot, and uh, we do not have the custom uh, uh, of uh, shaking hands. Uh, this is a cultural environment. Uh, we also used to uh, wearing masks uh, in Japan. These are cultural uh, factors uh, uh, in prevailing in Japan. And from the um, early days of uh, February, Uh, when uh, the patients uh, are tested positive on a proactive basis, uh, we have uh, been uh, trying to identify a linkage uh, and how uh, the uh, clusters are forming uh, have been investigated uh, uh, very uh, diligently. And from the end of February, uh, we have been requesting to our people to change our behavior uh, towards social distancing. Uh, we have uh, been actively requesting uh, these measures, and I believe uh, that these uh, multiple um, measures have proven to be effective. At any rate, uh, even though uh, the prevalence is low uh, today, we cannot be optimistic about the future. And therefore, uh, we will uh, continue uh, diligent uh, uh, measures going forward. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, I have some questions uh, from the uh, the viewers, uh, actually, that are re somewhat related. I have uh, three questions from uh, Ms. Isabel Reynolds of Bloomberg. Uh, the first one, I think they are all uh, directed to uh, Mr. Sahara, actually. The first question is uh, how do you explain the surge in cases in Tokyo over the past week or so? So now this is about the past. Uh, the second question is, uh, are you still confident that you are detecting all deaths caused by the virus? Somewhat overlaps the, uh, the question by the first gentleman. Uh, and thirdly, now that people found to be infected with the virus who have no symptoms, uh, or only mild symptoms will not be taken to hospital. Do you expect the number of tests conducted to increase? Thank you for the questions. Well, the background for the increase in Tokyo, there may be a variety of reasons. One is that large hospitals, large facilities, we are seeing uh, infections and clusters in such places. That is one reason. And 
the uh, night amusement area district. Infection in such places is also increasing. That is another. That could be another major factor. But going forward, we must analyze. We are already conducting analysis, but we must continue to analyze these factors. And are we able to identify all the death cases? That was the next question. I believe we are being able to detect quite a lot of the death cases. Of course, I cannot say that it's precisely 100%, but I'm quite confident. As for those with mild symptoms, uh, and does it mean that uh, tests will increase? I think that was a question. To what kind of people are you going to make tests? The policy of conducting the tests will not be changed at the moment. The doctors, if a doctor deem it necessary, then based on uh, the experience of disease history of a person, the symptoms, in cases which the doctors believe it is necessary, the tests will be conducted. So this policy remains unchanged. Sahara? Uh, uh, floor? Yes, gentlemen there? Hi, my name is Thomas Hahn from Süddeutsche Zeitung. Two questions. I um, heard in the past days in the releases that there would be an increase of tests to up to 20,000 per day. Is that just wrong or did I understood that wrongly? And the second uh, question is there are obviously fears in other prefectures um, that have low numbers of cases that all the residents from Tokyo or from other urban areas um, are going now there to, to uh, be more free to, 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 to move. Um, do you share these fears and, and is there a policy uh, against this? Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Take that question. Uh, Now, uh, I'm from MHLW. Uh, from, uh, my name is Kata. Kato. Uh, uh, now, 20,000 uh, tests uh, has uh, been announced uh, by the Prime Minister. Currently, uh, it's about uh, 11,000 uh, capacity has uh, been secured uh, already. Uh, in addition to this, uh, within the PCR test, uh, there is also uh, simple as well as uh, fast uh, uh, testing methods uh, that have been uh, newly developed uh, that can be used. Uh, it's called the BUMF method and similar uh, testing method uh, will be uh, have been developed uh, by the end of March. Uh, therefore, new methods uh, uh, will also be uh, utilized. By so doing, uh, we are aiming for 20,000 uh, tests uh, to be uh, reached. And uh, to your second question, let me address that. And I'd like to ask uh, my colleagues to uh, add if, if it's necessary. Now, regarding the background leading to the declaration of state of uh, emergency, uh, is such that uh, uh, we have uh, been uh, having uh, significant uh, uh, exchanges uh, with the experts uh, in uh, deciding policy. So uh, based on uh, expert uh, advice, uh, we are implementing uh, policies. And against this backdrop, uh, the, we have uh, uh, seven areas identified uh, uh, for uh, the um, the uh, the scope is Saitama, Chiba, Tokyo, Kanagawa, Osaka, Hyogo, and uh, Fukuoka. And uh, Dr. Omi uh, said uh, from the from the advisory committee that uh, uh, the accumulated uh, uh, number of cases is increasing uh, in these areas, and 
uh, the period uh, required to reach uh, double uh, the uh, number uh, is less than seven days now. So uh, the speed of increase uh, has uh, been accelerating. Uh, therefore, uh, there is uh, um, concern about uh, a significant increase. And uh, with the increase in cases, uh, there have been pressure on uh, the uh, medical uh, facilities available uh, in the regions. Uh, that is the was the uh, expert advice that we have received. And uh, uh, on the following day, uh, when the advisory committee uh, was met, we have also um, received uh, uh, significant input. Uh, from them and uh, led to uh, the um, declaration of the state of emergency. And the scope uh, of uh, seven prefectures uh, were identified, uh, but uh, other prefectures uh, have not reached that level yet. Now, regarding movement of people from the uh, seven prefectures in scope uh, to other areas uh, could be subject to uh, concern. I think that was uh, your question. Now, uh, in the uh, emergency measures uh, that will be implemented, uh, we will not have a lockdown uh, or city blockade uh, or other uh, severe measures that uh, will not be taken. Uh, therefore, mobility of people uh, amongst uh, prefectures or people uh, going to their hometown have been requested to refrain, uh, but uh, that is the request that has been put forth, and uh, we do have we do share uh, concern on the mobility of people. Uh, but for the time being, uh, we are requesting uh, people to uh, act uh, uh, in, with a cool head and refrain from movement. Uh, Mr. Kojima, Mr. Sada, uh, so I hope uh, they've been able to answer uh, your question. Okay, now I would like to uh, refer to uh, some questions being submitted uh, by email. Uh, first come serve, first serve uh, again. Uh, this is from uh, Richard Lloyd uh, Perry of The Times uh, in the UK. Uh, and I think uh, this will be for Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Kojima as well. Uh, given that, and, and Mr. Sahara to a certain extent, given that the instructions under the uh, law, the instructions to limit social contact given to by the government under the state of emergency are not enforceable. They are not enforceable. Why do you believe that they will succeed where previous requests have not? Thank you. I'm Noda from the Cabinet Secretariat. Uh, this is about the legal system. In the special measures law about refraining from going out, that is just a request, but about the limitation of using facilities and limitation of holding events. A request is made, and if they, if they, if they not follow the uh, request, uh, instructions will be given, and their names will be made public. That is how the law works. If they not follow the request, then there will be instruction, and then will be made public. Why is it effective? Might be the question. The background uh, is that one feature of this law is that there is no penalty for requests. I think that is the background for your question. So, though there is no penalty, why would the people obey instructions? Of course, request is made, and then there will be instructions given. Instructions will be made, and at the same time, their names will be made public. If their names are made public, people will know that this is what happened to this facility as administrative uh, organization. The message is sent that the government believes that facility is risky. So. There will be less visitors visiting that place. So in terms of preventing the spread of infection, we believe this will be effective. So the purpose of the law is not to give a penalty, but the purpose is to prevent the spread of infection. And in that sense, we believe this will be effective. Um. I think in a nutshell, uh, you don't necessarily uh, need to make them uh, uh, mandatory. I think instructions uh, in co uh, combined uh, with, the, uh, with 
the instructions being made public uh, will, uh, will work in Japan. Uh, we actually had a similar uh, question from uh, Motoko Rich of New York Times, so uh, I will skip that for the time being. But then uh, she also uh, gave us another question. Uh, this will be probably for uh, Mr. Sahara. The question is, can you explain what measures you will take to contain outbreaks in hospitals and welfare facilities? Hi. Thank you for the question. Now, in hospitals, uh, we have uh, very con significant concerns about uh, infection. Uh, we are uh, implementing, uh, we are asking for implementing uh, measures uh, to uh, prevent uh, hospital acquired uh, infections. And uh, we have uh, provided manuals as well as uh, uh, guidelines uh, from uh, the MHLW uh, to uh, the hospitals. Uh, we hope that uh, these uh, guidelines uh, will be effectively used. Uh, furthermore, uh, the masks, as well as PPE uh, equipment, uh, gowns, <coughs> are very important. Uh, there is a shortage uh, currently about uh, for the medical facilities, uh, hospitals, uh, we will prioritize the provision of uh, these uh, PPE and uh, masks uh, so that uh, a hospital acquired uh, infection can be prevented. Okay, Mr. Sahara, and uh, perhaps, uh, Mr. Sahara, uh, you should mention that uh, the, uh, uh, cl the designated clinics for the uh, novel uh, coronavirus, they are separate uh, from the existing hospitals. And this has been the case since the very beginning of the uh, uh, the crisis as well, and this has uh, uh, worked to separate the the hospitals from any serious infections. So uh, this is uh, one of the things that I would like to stress. Uh, another question from uh, uh, Motoko Rich, and uh, it relates to uh, the the question uh, that was posed earlier. Uh, why are you still not testing to capacity? And will criteria for testing change? from here on. Hello. Thank you for your question. I think I received a similar question before. The policy in Japan is that tests will be made to those who need to be tested. So if a doctors believe tests are necessary, the tests will be conducted. Uh, though there is capacity, though there is more capacity, uh, tests will not be conducted to those uh, who the doctors be believe is not necessary. Only in cases the doctors believe is necessary, tests will be uh, conducted. And by doing so, so we have been doing uh, so, so far, and at the moment, we are not thinking of changing this policy. That is all. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sahara. And uh, once again, it uh, overlaps with the uh, earlier question, but uh, uh, Mr. Noda, um, uh, I've been asked by uh, Ms. Uh, Motoko Rich of New York Times once again that if you can elaborate on what you mean by phased approach. Phased approach uh, and a strong request will be made in this area. And uh, will there be stronger restraints on movement in this regard? Now, to your first question, regarding a phased approach uh, from a legal uh, 
point of view, uh, at the risk of repeating myself, I'd like to say uh, that, uh, first of all, for certain facilities, uh, we will request uh, its uh, operation. And uh, this is the, um, the authority of the uh, governor of uh, the prefecture. We can request uh, that operation stop. And if this is not uh, uh, heeded, uh, then uh, instruction can be given, which will be uh, made public. This is the two-phased approach uh, that uh, I have referred to. As I have said, there is no penalty for this law. So a request will be made. If uh, not heeded, uh, instruction will be given, and uh, it will be subject to publication. It will be made public. Uh, that is a legal two-phased approach. And regarding the mobility of people, the movement of people, uh, this is something that I have already addressed. Uh, we have uh, come up with a basic policy. Uh, and uh, as mentioned in the basic policies, on the part of Japanese government, uh, we have uh, issued a declaration of a state of emergency. But uh, the restraint uh, of uh, uh, the movement of people, such as lockdowns conducted in overseas countries, will not be implemented in Japan. Other cases have been studied. Uh, we are learning from other uh, countries as well. Uh, we are not able to do a lockdown uh, in Japan because of legal constraints, and uh, there will be um, uh, paralysis uh, of uh, social functions. And uh, this will uh, give rise to other problems. That is uh, a significant concern for us. And uh, in the area of uh, infectious uh, disease, uh, what we, we are concerned about uh, is possible panic amongst the people. Uh, so uh, we have to give a very detailed uh, explanation. We want uh, people to act uh, in order to avoid uh, uh, infection. Uh, with this uh, very detailed explanation. I would also like to uh, add my comment as well. Uh, this is something uh, that the minister has been emphasizing uh, on several occasions. Uh, we are asking people to stay home uh, without going out. Uh, this is a request that we are putting forth uh, to uh, Japanese uh, people. Uh, we want to uh, reduce uh, interaction of uh, people there is also a number uh, that uh, we are working toward achieving. For example, uh, if we look at the movement of people on the weekend, uh, before uh, the request, um, comparing the beginning of uh, March and beginning of uh, April, uh, if you go to the uh, Shibuya area uh, center uh, guy, uh, there has been a reduction by 50%. And there had been 70% reduction uh, in traffic uh, of uh, Ginza. And uh, Yamanote line um, passengers have been reduced by 70%. So uh, even the request uh, has been proven to be very effective. On the other hand, uh, for weekdays, uh, if you go to Shinbashi, uh, there has been reduction by 40%. And the, um, the Tokyo Metropolitan uh, um, uh, subway, 30% increase decrease and uh, Yamanote line 40% uh, uh, decrease uh, has uh, been achieved. Uh, for on weekdays, days, uh, we would like to step up measures further. But uh, uh, from the request, uh, taking into consideration the declaration of state of emergency that has been implemented, uh, we will strongly call for uh, restraint. Uh, uh, Kojima. I have a, a question from Simon uh, Denier of the Washington Post. Uh, it uh, relates to the last question somewhat as well. Uh, the question is, there are reports of disagreement between the central government and the Tokyo Metropolitan Government over what needs to be closed, what needs to be closed, such as barbers and department stores. The Tokyo government seems to want stronger action since the medical situation here is already in crisis. Is the central government reluctant to take stronger action? And if so, why? Thank you for your question. Yes, that has been reported under the press. As for the limitations of using facilities in making requests or instructions for that purpose, what facilities should be subject is 
so uh, it, there are press reports that there is a disagreement. With a declaration of state of emergency, the governors of prefectures covered by the declaration based on Article 45 of a law, the governor will have the authority to uh, limit the utilization of facilities. At that stage, it's necessary to think of which facilities should be closed. As for this authority, the authority uh, are authorities of a governors of prefectures. So it's up to how the governors think about it. But across prefectures, let us say, if you look at the overall region, uh, including the neighboring prefectures, there must be mutual coordination. So the central government is consulting with the governors. This morning also, the seven prefectures uh, covered by the declaration, their governors and Minister Nishimura had a web-based conference this morning to share the same understanding. And actually, uh, what measures should be taken? Each governor of prefectures has their own views and the environment keeps changing. So the central government will make a cautious coordination with the prefectures. So there will be mutual coordination. And the uh, region and the central government should work together to be able to implement the measures. So I think, uh, uh, in essence, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of speculation uh, over this matter. Uh, but I think uh, the uh, the metropolitan metropolitan government and the central government are uh, currently discussing uh, what's best, what's effective, and what's needed as well. And I think uh, they should be able to come come up with the results uh, very soon. Um, I would uh, now refer like to uh, refer to uh, 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 another question, uh, uh, possibly for Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kuroda this time. Uh, this is um, from Isabel Reynolds of Bloomberg. Um, what is the government doing to help small companies that have trouble with remote working? I shall address that to a question. Regarding remote working uh, uh, cannot be done by some small companies in regional areas uh, are being supported uh, by the chambers of commerce in the regions that we are uh, providing advice. And regarding uh, the if uh, funding is necessary, uh, the, such uh, support uh, will be considered. Uh. Mr. Kojima, uh, wish to add anything to that? It's about the small company. What are the measures uh, taken by the government to, to help these companies achieve the goal of more remote working? Well, let me address that question to the companies. Uh, overall, uh, within the basic policy, uh, we are uh, providing uh, various support measures as shown here. Uh, we are promoting uh, telework or remote work. Because uh, during the commuting as well as uh, in the office, uh, the three C's uh, uh, could occur, and uh, it should be avoided as much as possible. Uh, for example, ventilation by opening windows can be very helpful. And uh, uh, have uh, people uh, 
seated uh, uh, with ample space between them. Uh, we are um, promoting such measures, uh, as well as uh, promoting uh, uh, washing hands, as well as uh, uh, dealing with the uh, coughs. And uh, if people are not feeling well, uh, 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 allow them to uh, take days off work uh, is what we are trying to promote. In the economic measures package to the SMEs, uh, we have uh, um, support measures as uh, well as financial support uh, uh, provided as well. By so doing, uh, we hope that uh, we can uh, promote uh, companies to take measures against uh, infection. And if a significant uh, uh, economic uh, uh, negative impact is felt, uh, economic measures uh, will be provided to support them. I have a, a follow-up a follow up question from Mr. Richard Lloyd Perry of The Times, and uh, I think uh, this is for Mr. Noda. Once again, I think uh, uh, you elaborated on how the institutions and businesses and companies uh, will be guided by the phased approach of requests and instructions. Uh, Mr. Perry wishes to know how this will work with individuals. Individuals. Why do you believe that this... It, Unenforceable instructions will persuade enough individuals uh, to avoid social contact when previous appeals have not done so. Thank you for your question. In the special measures law, uh, Article 45, in case of individuals to give instructions, uh, there are no instructions given to individuals. I would like to repeat that the law, the special measures law uh, purpose uh, well, in case of individuals, they are covered by infectious diseases control law, but the uh, special measures law uh, looks from a social perspective. So in that sense, within the society, how can we control infectious diseases, which is to refrain from going out, to stay home, and also to refrain from uh, uh, give limitations using facilities and events. And in Article 45 of a special measures law, uh, the law can cover uh, limitation of using facilities. In case of individuals, there are no penalties. But I'll let repeat that in terms of infectious diseases, no one would like to be infected by the disease. So by providing sufficient information about in what places infectious diseases are happening, then this will contribute to reducing people who will be infected by the disease. In case of companies or facilities, institutions, we will request them to stop the usage of a facility. If they not comply with, they will be instructed to do so, and they will be made public so that individuals will not visit such places. So this is like enlightenment for individuals so that they will not visit such places. So based on the law, uh, by doing so, uh, that is the purpose of a law, to reduce people who would get infected. Uh, what, he's, what he's saying is that uh, the, the venues will no longer be avail available uh, for those individuals who uh, may be exposed to higher risk if you go to these venues. Um, but I think it's also a, a challenge for the government to reach out to the individuals as well. And I, I think uh, we've all been calling out uh, to the individuals uh, for the last uh, month or so. But I think uh, perhaps uh, uh, we can touch upon uh, what uh, the Ministry of uh, Health, Welfare and Labor has been doing with uh, LINE, uh, which is one of the uh, social media uh, apps available and being used by uh, 83 million people in Japan. Mr. Sahara, would you care to touch upon that? Hi, I know. Yes, by using the Lion app, all the users are uh, Lion. 
uh, we, a questioner has been saying, Don, what actions are you taking? Uh, what is, are you taking care about? A survey was made, and the survey was conducted twice so far. And looking at the, based on the results of a survey, the central government as a whole will be evaluating our approach and make improvements. That is what we would like to do. Mr. Sara, so uh, I think getting uh, uh, surveys done to to uh, to actually understand what's happening on the ground is uh, essentially important, and we have uh, surveys available with limited number of samples. Uh, but this uh, one using the line, uh, as I understand, they've had 24 million people uh, responding to the survey, uh, which gives us quite a bulk of samples to work on, and this will give us a much better understanding of uh, what the individuals are doing uh, in Japan as well. And I think uh, the, the Ministry of Health, Welfare, and uh, Labor is uh, hoping to continue this scheme, which is proving to be very, very useful, and perhaps uh, unprecedented around the world as well, if I may say so. Okay, I think uh, uh, we have uh, received all the questions uh, online. Uh, anybody uh, from the floor? Yes, once again. And then I'll, I'll give you the full list after this. Thank you once again, Rocky Swift at Reuters. I'd like to return to something that uh, Kuroda-san mentioned in his opening remarks about the promotion of uh, the drug Avigan. So around the world, there are dozens of drugs and potential vaccines being tested uh, for their efficacy against the coronavirus. Yet again and again, Avigan is key is mentioned by the Japanese leadership and the cabinet and uh, to some degree by the health ministry. Why is there such faith or promotion to this particular drug uh, to the exclusion of all the other sorts of treatments that are in development in Japan and around the world? Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for the question. Uh, I do think there are uh, a few other uh, drugs being mentioned uh, uh, by the leaders recently as well. But uh, Mr. Sahara, if you care to uh, respond to this question. This is Sahara of uh, MHLW. Uh, in Japan, it is not uh, Avigan uh, that uh, is being developed uh, and uh, conduct, trying to conduct uh, uh, clinical trials. Uh, it is not just limited to Avigan. But for Avigan, uh, it uh, was for the Nova uh, influenza. Uh, that was the purpose uh, of uh, uh, development uh, of this drug. Uh, but uh, for uh, COVID-19, uh, we have expectations that it can be very effective. Expectations are running very high. And uh, in basic research, uh, a certain level of uh, results have already been achieved. Currently, There is no uh, specific uh, clear drug uh, for uh, this uh, disease, not in any country uh, globally. Therefore, uh, many uh, people are trying to uh, request, uh, and there is a call for such a drug to be developed. And against this backdrop, uh, Avi Gun uh, is being requested uh, from many countries. Uh, and the request is coming to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Japan for the uh, new influenza, uh, uh, excuse me, for COVID-19, uh, the uh, effectiveness uh, uh, should be evaluated as quickly as possible. And uh, this what is a drug that has been developed in Japan. And therefore, uh, with uh, good results, uh, we hope that uh, we can make a significant contribution to the world. Just to add to this, uh, uh, as he mentioned, uh, there's been some requests uh, coming from uh, uh, some countries. Uh, uh, actually, there have been uh, dozens, uh, dozens of countries, maybe 50 or so, uh, countries uh, requesting uh, for this uh, uh, drug uh, through diplomatic channels. 
And uh, we've been working with the UN to see whether we would be able to uh, provide these companies uh, with the Avigan or not. And we've been able to uh, make some arrangements for uh, 20 out of the 50, and we're working on the rest, the 30 countries. But on the uh, on condition that the, this uh, uh, the, the third phase of clinical trials is still ongoing, and uh, there are some uh, side effects that have been found, uh, but. Uh, uh, with recognition of uh, how uh, the uh, drug should be treated with caution, uh, based on that, uh, uh, we are working with companies who, uh, uh, who have requested Japan for some help. And we're collaborating with UN on this as well. So 50 countries and 20 countries, we've been able to come up with some arrangement to uh, make this happen as well. Uh, I come back to the same issue as I raised before, uh, because Europe is looking towards the Asian countries where it has already been the, uh, the first cases were discovered much earlier than in Europe, and uh, the, the deaths have been really low. So my question now is, is about uh, uh, how this, uh, uh, because Japan ha has been concentrating its efforts on uh, trying to treat the serious cases. So. Uh, what is it? How how are you doing that? And how how many serious cases have been uh, treated successfully? And uh, uh, are there any specific uh, methods or uh, medications that have really worked? Or uh, what is it that is working in Japan as of now? I know that we cannot predict the future, but as of now, what is it? Uh, medically speaking, what is it that is working? Thank you. Okay, thank you for the question. So, Mr. Sara, if you can uh, uh, elaborate on uh, Japan's basic strategy uh, on the uh, novel coronavirus. Thank you for your question. What is important is that in Japan, still, uh, collapse of a healthcare system has not yet happened. Uh, the hospitals are working very hard uh, compared to Italy and other countries. We are not yet at such a situation. So the necessary medical care is being provided to those in need. That is the situation in Japan. And, and also, uh, I think we can say that already in Japan, we had a high quality level of medical care. Of course, there is no uh, drug to cure. But for patients uh, who are quite uh, in a serious situation, necessary care has been provided. There is sufficient capacity to do so yet in Japan. And I think that is a major factor. If I may add, for those who are seriously ill with serious symptoms, how many of those who have improved? I don't have a specific figures with me right now, but about 50% out of those who were seriously ill, 50%, about 50% have recovered. That was an announcement made by the experts. OK. Um Gentleman, right there once again. Thomas Hahn from Süddeutsche Zeitung again. Um, <coughs> just a very short question. Do you have a slight idea of what the damage of this coronavirus crisis can be for the economy, but also maybe for society? Will there be a deeper change of, of behavior of people after that, um, that pandemic? And um, yeah, it's especially, what does that mean for uh, the Japanese economy? So I think this is a question from Mr. Kuroda. Uh, with uh, uh, COVID-19 and the spread of uh, infection uh, has been um, 
evaluated uh, by various uh, uh, parties, and uh, we do not have uh, um, quantitative uh, evaluation yet, but we know that the damage is going to be very significant. At the risk of uh, repeating myself, I would like to say that uh, 108 trillion uh, economic measures uh, has been implemented. Uh, and first and foremost, uh, we want to uh, focus on uh, containing the spread of uh, the infectious uh, disease and uh, aim for a V-shaped uh, recovery thereafter. Regarding the change of behavior, uh, with the uh, declaration of state of emergency, um, it is very important to continue the uh, infection, which is important for the economy as well, uh, therefore, we want to uh, expedite uh, the containment of uh, the infection, which will lead to a rapid uh, V-shaped uh, recovery. It isn't as if there is a lack of funding uh, that is impeding the economy. Although it is not visible, uh, there is a lack of movement of the people as well as goods. But the w as long as we are able to persevere uh, this uh, uh, difficulty, uh, there is no um, uh, lack of uh, productivity. Therefore, I'm sure uh, the Japanese uh, economy can recover in a V-shaped manner. Uh, therefore, uh, we have to um, reduce uh, social contact. And in order to improve the economic uh, uh, situation, uh, we need all hands on deck, not just the government. Uh, the people of Japan must work together uh, to uh, focus uh, on uh, the a containment of the spread of infection. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kuruda. So I think this uh, conference, this meeting, is uh, uh, drawing to a close. Uh, any more questions from the floor? Okay. Hi, Rocky Swift at Reuters again. I'm sorry to monopolize your time with so many questions. I wanted to return to something that Kojima-san said earlier. You recounted some very interesting data on the decrease in usage of uh, some of the train systems. Uh, I was wondering if you could provide that data or if, if you can point me to where that might be uh, on government websites. Uh, we haven't seen that as far as I know. Um, but the second part is much of this strategy is predicated on the research by uh, Nishiura uh, Sensei from Hokkaido University that we need to get the social contact down by 70, 80 percent. And the, the figures you're saying are significant de decreases of, you know, 40, 50 percent. But it doesn't seem to meet the levels of decrease that the experts are calling for that are necessary to make a stop to this overshoot risk. So uh, I guess, first of all, can you provide this data on the usage of public transportation? And second, can you address the fact that the decreases so far do not meet what the experts are calling for? Thank you. Uh, well, thank you. As for the data, there is no yet uh, available URL. So uh, I just mentioned the flash figures that I have right now. I have a piece with me, so maybe you can take a photo of my paper. But I think that a panel was introduced at a minister's press conference yesterday, introducing those figures. So, but I think you can shot a photograph of this. And in addition, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government subway users, uh, the trend is available on the Tokyo Metropolitan Government's webpage. So you can s have information of a reduction of users of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government subway on the uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Government's uh, website. 
I think you mentioned about how we evaluate right now. Uh, Minister uh, Ishimura is meeting the experts almost every day to have an update of a current situation. In terms of a strategy, at least a 70% of, if possible, 80% reduction of the figures being mentioned. So 70 or 80% is the number of contact, interaction between people, uh, contacts among people that will lead to the spread of infection should be reduced by 70 to 80 percent. So reduction of the users of trains, how much is that linked uh, to this? Uh, we don't have any firm data indicating that. So uh, we just have numbers of users of trains, of a number of people visiting Shibuya uh, Center Street. So they may be close indicators, but it doesn't necessarily mean that contact will be reduced by 70% if there's a reduction of 70% of people visiting Shibuya. So if contact is reduced by 70 or 80%, it will be effectively reducing the infection. So that is the background data that we have right now. And as measures, well, the real-time data that we have uh, would be exemplified by cases of use users of trains, people who visit Shibuya. Uh, we'll circulate a, a of this uh, of this paper to you and uh, to uh, all the uh, viewers uh, online as well by email. Um, I think uh, maybe uh, in addition to what you said, uh, uh, I think we should remember that uh, many people are commuting differently these days. Uh, they, uh, Mr. Kojima talked about the uh, total number of people commuting, uh, but people are choosing different time zones to commute uh, in order to, to, to alleviate uh, the, the, the crowdedness of, of, the, uh, of the trains as well. So that should also be taken into account. Any other questions? If not, it's already uh, past seven, so uh, we should uh, conclude this meeting. Well, thank you so much uh, to you all, uh, despite uh, the uh, social distancing that needs to be done. And uh, we welcome the viewers uh, online, and we hope to continue this, uh, this tradition uh, periodically as well and uh, hope to see you uh, soon uh, once again. Well, thank you so much uh, for your cooperation. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.